guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. I feel like I've been in a slump lately. I mean, I'm still putting out videos consistently, but emotionally, I don't know what is going on with me. I feel like I'm like kind of like stuck. I need to change. Maybe I need to change my hair. I don't really know, but something needs to happen. Tell me if you guys have ever felt like this. It's kind of crazy. And I get it like every couple months kind of thing. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, I have this eye look for you today. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start off this look, I'm taking the NYX Vivid Brights cream color in Get Money. And I'm applying this to the outer V of my eye. I'm just using a flat paintbrush. And then I'm taking a larger dome brush and starting to blend that out. And then grabbing one of those Luxie tapered blending brushes that I love. And of course, adding more and blending it out. I did do one additional layer of cream color that I forgot to film. Just so it's nice and pigmented. Now I'm going into the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. And I'm taking the yellow shade on a Sigma E40 brush and applying this to the upper crease area as my transition shade. Next I'm taking the green shade and a MAC 217 brush and applying this to the crease and outer V of my eye. And then going back in and taking the brush that I use with the yellow and blending that out. Then I'm taking this cream color in Sugar Rush by NYX and placing this on the inner half of my lid and I'm sort of cutting out my crease with this. Then I'm just taking the brush I used to blend out the green cream color and going over the edge. You know the drill. Then I'm just taking a smaller dome brush and going over that inner corner area so it just kind of blends and it's not so harsh on the inner corner. Then I'm taking Johnny Concert's Punk Ballet Tie-Dye Shadow. This is a limited edition. Let's go check that out. Um, I'm placing this over top of the Lavender Cream Base. It's just such a pretty color. And then just taking my 217 and going over that edge. Now I'm taking the cream color in Blueprint. And I'm placing this on my lower lash line. And then I'm just blending out the edge with a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. And then what's cool about these is you can place them in your waterline and they stay. So I'm just placing that in my waterline with a Sigma Tight Liner Brush. Then I'm taking the blue from the Pastel Goth Palette and placing that over top of the base and sort of Smoking it out. Smoking it out with a pastel shade. Then I'm just taking more of Punk Ballet and placing this on the inner corner of my eye and bringing that down like a third of the lower lash line. Then I'm taking Clementine from the Pastel Goth Palette and placing this on the inner brow area to add some more color. Then for lashes, I'm using Lily Lashes Miami, and this is the finished eye look. Alright, so this is the completed look. For my lips, I decided to go in with sort of like a corally to match the little subtle bit that's right on the eyes. I used a combo of Sugar Pills Cubby Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, Cubby Lipstick with Makeup Forever's Aqua Lip Pencil in 18C. And then I just, to make it a little bit like shinier, cause this is super matte, I put on Real Her Lipstick in Sorry Not Sorry. It's kind of like the same color, just a little bit more like a cream lip lipstick. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.